Ravel Monograms 1956 Chevy Nomad coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And here we are, January the 4th already. And we are actually four days into the new year. How are your resolutions going? I, did you resolve to get more models and build more stuff and have more fun? Well, hopefully you did, because today we're going to check out the 1956 Chevy Nomad by Ravel Monogram. So now let's go down and open up the box on this cool old station wagon. Now we return to 1956, the camperized version, as we look at the 56 Chevy Nomad. I always liked the Nomad kit because it was such a stylish looking station wagon. Very cool, as we will see. That's a skill level 3 kit, which means lots of parts. So we'll just move the lots of parts over there. And there we start with our instructions. This time I didn't write down where I got this from. So there's our engine block. And if you're following the series, this is very similar, in fact, a duplicate to the Bel Air model, with the exception of the way the spare tire and the gas tank are sitting in this car, because as a wagon, they had to lay the tire down, couldn't have it standing up, just get in the way of your uh, luggage. <laughs> so they've got different windows, of course, to fit the body, and then there's your interior. You even get separate rear side panels, which is pretty cool, considering the level of detail in this kit. Alright, there's our body assembly going together, as well as the front end. Many parts are shared with the Delray, except body parts, which of course is obvious. And then they give you all these specifications on the cars, and then the colors over here as well. So very informative instruction sheet, or formative, <laughs> very formative instruction sheet if you're scared of doing a lot of parts. Here's our decal sheets with Illinois and Oregon license plates, as well as a bunch of other instrument panels. And now let's look at the body of this. Again, very nice. You can see the indentations on the roof, as well as all these bars across the back, which is a good job for some bare metal foil chroming. Quite a nice mold. Even has this little pan underneath. And if you turn it over, it's got all the ribs, as well as those two are dome lights. These are all sink marks, of course. So just so you know, not to uh, file out a dome light. And there's our glass. This one seems to have a black speck in it. wonder what happened there. Something in the mold, pro probably. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. Hopefully you don't have something like that in yours. Now, I must have looked at these parts before, because there's a hole in the bag here. But for some reason it doesn't go all the way out. Maybe I should just cut this. Let's see if I can't wiggle it. Whoa. I have a little fight on my hands here, it seems. Okay, get... Yeah, let's get the old knife. And just free up the battle. I suppose the body was in the bag. <laughs> so, when did this become CSI Miami? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Alright, something's gonna fall out. No, maybe not. Okay, let's look at these parts in a little more depth. There's our under pan, and you can see the little trap door there. Molded right in. That's uh, so you can get at your spare tire. Okay, there's our multi-piece seat and the dashboard, the steering wheel and steering column. Again, this is a factory stock model. The seat back, and these, there's a detail in there, hard to pick up. Hard to pick up on camera, but there is a detail there, and those 
seats on the real car folded downward. There's our white wall inserts. And then here's our interior, again with separate panels, with a lot of very nice detail and unique for the uh, Nomad, the upholstery pattern. Followed by our chrome. And this chrome, I do believe, is the exact duplicate of the Del... No, it isn't, because they had the full hubcaps on the Nomad, because the Nomad was a Bel Air. I found a Star Wars TIE Fighter piece. It's not supposed to be in there. But it is in there. From one of my models it broke off. Really a unique find. Now I can fix my model. Okay. Cut this plastic off of here. Slide this out. Move this and there's a battery. It fell off the bottom. Okay, here's our undercarriage, and again, very nice detail in there, shared with the Del Rey, except for this piece, which is unique, because, like I said before, your tire has to lean back and go under that trap door so you have room for your carry-all. And then there's our little tail lights again, much like the Del Rey. Careful you don't lose them, cutting them off the part tree. And then... There's our engine and the undercarriage pieces. And look at that nice detail in there. And finally, we wrap up with our wheels, which have that nice groove for your white wall insert. And that brings us to the end of our look at the 56 Chevy Nomad. And I hope you enjoyed that look at our 1956 Chevy Nomad. And if you would like to see some other cool model car kits, check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And don't forget to subscribe to us right here and check out these three other What's in the Box videos so that you can see what I've opened and actually what model kits look like out there on the market. Maybe some you want, maybe some you don't. But until next time, let's plow ahead in 2019.